Welcome back to Ben Rants. And when I was a kid, waiting for a new episode of a cartoon you love to premiere felt like torture. Well, folks, you all know who I am. I'm Mr. I Hate Everything Modern. That's right, I'm that guy who's always hating modern things just because they're modern. Even though I like some modern things, but I'm just a big fat hypocrite. Anyway, there's one cartoon that premiered just a month ago that I hate so much. It's a modern piece of crap and it freaking boils my blood so much that you could boil potatoes in it. What is this cartoon? It's none other than Littlest Pet Shop. Ugh, just saying that title makes me want to throw myself out a window. In fact... Nah, I'm not in the mood for hurting myself today. Anyway, get ready for a dose of something modern and crappy. Oh wait, those two words mean the same thing to me. Anyway, here's my rant on Littlest Pet Shop. You know, that window's looking a little bit closer to me. So, this cartoon is based on one of Hasbro's most popular toy lines, The Littlest Pet Shop. Oh great, a cartoon made to sell toys. This is gonna suck. However, it gets worse. This show was developed by the same people that created My Gym Partner's a Monkey. Yeah, that show where Tom Kenny voices a walking and talking butt joke. Oh great, as if this modern cartoon couldn't suck more. It's based off a toy line, and it's made by people who think butts are funny. That window is tempting. Anyway, I've watched every episode of this show that has aired up to this point. I've given this show ratings. I mean, I've killed people, drank their blood, done rituals that have made demons come from the depths of hell and possess people, watched Here Comes Honey Boo Boo, beat up old ladies to steal their pills, annoyed somebody to the point of suicide, and worst thing I've ever done is watch Here Comes Honey Boo Boo. But giving this show ratings comes really close. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, that's just that nostalgia tard Ben T. Looney being biased towards new cartoons. No, I have backup because I've actually watched episodes, as I said before. So, let me describe to you why I hate this modern crappy show so much. For starters, there are the characters. There's Blythe Baxter, who is a girl who has to move into the big city. She's really smart, really nice, and has the ability to talk to animals. And she's voiced by Rainbow Dash herself, Ashley Ball. Dang it, show! Stop using talent that I love to voice characters that are likable that I happen to hate. Screw you! Now, let's move on to the animals. There's Zoe. She's a dog that looks like what you would get if Twilight was a dog. Dang it, show! Stop reminding me of better shows I could be watching instead of you. Speaking of ponies, guess who voices her? Why? It's none other than Princess Celestia and Cheerilee, Nicole Oliver. Oh, screw you, show! Nicole Oliver is a great talent who I think really needs more lead roles, and you're giving her a lead role. Actually, that's kind of cool, but you're still modern! I hate your guts. Anyway, Zoe is a dog who's really fancy and likes to sing. Oh, great. This show has songs. Just what I need. A reason to use earplugs. Don't worry, we'll get to the songs later. Next, there's Russell, voiced by Samuel Vincent. He's a porcupine. Wait, before you trolls attack me, he's actually a hedgehog. Ha! I corrected myself. So that's one less thing you haters have to complain about. Anyway... Russell is really smart and has a knack for wanting to get tests done in an orderly fashion. Wait, Samuel Vincent is playing a character that's smart and has attention to detail? Where have I heard that before? Wow, show. Way to rip off characters from other shows by using the same voice actor as an insult to injure. You have some nerve making characters that are still likable and unique despite sharing traits with and a VA w with another character from another show. You demon. Next, there's Pepper the Skunk, played by... Gee, I don't know, another voice artist from Ponies? That's right, Tabitha St. Germain. Let me guess, Pepper is really uptight and obsessed with fashion just like Rarity. 
Or she's really a jokester who's a comedian. How dare you show! Ripping off a character from a cartoon I find okay is one thing, but ripping off a character like Pinkie Pie, now you've hit an all-time low. Granted, Pepper's still funny, but she's still a ripoff. I hate you. Next, there's Minka, a pink monkey who's really bubbly and likes painting. I've got nothing bad to say about this character, but screw her! Next, there's Sunil, a mongoose voiced by Peter New. Let me guess, he only says one-word sentences. Actually, he doesn't. He's allowed to actually have real dialogue. Still, that sucks. Anyway, Sunil is a magician who's always screwing up at it. Sho, are you trying to get me to laugh at something I would actually find hilarious? Well, too bad. I'm not falling for that. Then, there's Vinny. He's an iguana that's a dancer, and he isn't too bright. Oh great, just what this crappy show needs, a brain-dead character. Actually, he's not brain-dead, he's just not as smart as everybody else. Still, it sucks! Finally, we get to... Penny Ling, a panda who's rather... adorable, and she's really nice to everybody. I can't say anything bad about her, but I still hate this show! I'm not going to like it just because I like one character. So, there's a look at the main characters. They all suck, don't they? Well, except for Penny Ling. But how dare this modern cartoon have characters that are lovable, even though they're just a little bit cliched. This show should be ashamed of itself. Anyway, I've seen every episode of this show so far, and... I enjoyed all of them. But this show is modern, so I can burn in hell! Now, to get to the reasons why I hate this show. For one thing, the animation is really bright and colorful and puts me in a good mood. I hate it for that. How dare you make me feel good, show. That, that's a job for shows I like. You leviathan, you. Another reason I hate this show is Blythe. She acts nothing like a stereotypical teenage girl. She's not spoiled, she's really nice, and she isn't annoying. Screw you, show. What's wrong with having a character that's a general stereotype? All other TV networks have characters like that, so why not you? You should be ashamed for not following the path of the sheep. Follow the sheep, dang you! Another thing to tack on that I hate about this show is the humor. There are no signs of toilet humor anywhere, and the timings of the gags are really well done. The jokes aren't just characters shouting out random things that aren't funny, they actually have anatomy. Even Pepper's jokes are funny, despite the fact that they're the big brothers of Laffy Taffy jokes. Gee, a modern cartoon without the kind of humor I hate? Tack with you, show! You honestly think you can drive me in because you contain humor that actually makes me laugh? Well, nice try. I'm smarter than that. I know you're just a modern cartoon, and since I am who I am, I automatically have to hate you for the sheer fact you're modern. Granted, I don't know why that is how it is, but I agree with it. Screw you, show! And finally, the last thing that really ticks me off about this show. This show has so many gosh dang musical numbers. I'm not kidding. Think of Ponies Tenfold. There are that many songs in it. Almost one every episode. And, my god, they're terrible! They're incredibly catchy, rather uplifting, have good beats to them, and they're sung very well. And I hate them so much! I mean, just listen to the song the pets sing when Blythe first meets them. Oh, and I forgot to mention, there was one point during this song where the pets do a kick line while singing. It's too trucking adorable! And I hated every second of it! I hated it! So, there's a look at Littlest Pet Shop. Is it bad? Well, not really. But I hate it! I despise it! I absolutely loathe it! If this show was a rock, I'd beat it with a hammer. If this show was a piece of paper, I would stab it with a sharpened piece of a metal rod. I detest every single thing about this show. Granted, there are things I would normally like in a cartoon, but I hate this show because it's modern. 
I'm supposed to hate everything that's modern. Granted, I don't hate the times. I just hate certain things that come out of the times. But no, I hate everything modern because everybody thinks I do, and they're supposedly right. I'm just a modern hating person that wants to go back to my childhood, even though I love the fact I've grown up to appreciate things a lot more. But screw every modern cartoon. Except ponies, Gravity Falls, and Dan Versus. But screw this show! Screw it! Screw it! Screw it! Okay, am I kidding anyone? This show is awesome. Well, looks like the hub has done it again. They've taken something that would normally be aimed towards little girls and turned it into a well-made cartoon that the whole family could enjoy and cartoon lovers can eat up. I think the strongest thing this show has going for it is the characters. You can already tell the creators are going to have fun playing off the characters' personalities, and they already have. In the episode, A Penny for Your Laughs, Pepper tells a joke that hurts Penny Ling's feelings, so she has to apologize for it. And mean isn't your color. Penny Ling thinks that Blight is making her a dress that she doesn't like, but she can't tell Blight about it because she's too nice. And there's one on tomorrow where Russell turns into a party animal. That's going to be fun. Plus, this show has a lot of talent involved with it. From actors like Ashley Ball, Nicole Oliver, Tabitha St. Germain, Samuel Vincent, and Peter New, to writers like Cindy Merrill and Mitch Larson. That's right, the same writers from Ponies who wrote Sister Hoof Social and Return of Harmony, respectively. Not to mention, I have to give it to Julie Cahill and Tim Cahill, the developers of this show. They went from creating a butt joke fuel, My Gym Partner's a Monkey, to this show. Hats off to you guys for redeeming yourselves. Plus, there are the songs. What person is responsible for such poppy music that gets stuck in your head and doesn't make you want to stick meat in your ears and then stick starving weasels in after the meat? Oh, Daniel Ingram, you sneaky, talented person, you. Anyway, with this guy making the music, you know your ears will have the delight while listening to this show. Now, on to my favorite characters. I would have to say my three favorites are Penny Ling, Pepper, and Minka. However, like in Ponies, the characters are so good that I care about each and every one of them, and I know they'll all entertain me. So bottom line, I salute Littlest Pet Shop. It's a good cartoon. I'll admit, it doesn't care that much to adults like Ponies does, but it's still a good cartoon to watch compared to everything else that we get on other channels. Man, I gotta give it to the Hub. They're the only channel I know that comes closest to being like the kids' channels of our time. They have three cartoons now that I enjoy, and that's something. I hope this channel keeps up the good work and keeps improving. I mean, its slogan is, it could happen, and I think that sums it up perfectly. It's a channel where anything is possible, and I expect nothing but great things from it in the future. Anyway, back to Lilith's Pet Shop. I'm sure that if this show gets a lot more viewers, it'll definitely improve over time. So, if you're a cartoon lover that's looking for another cartoon to waste your time with, this show is for you. I'm Ben, and I'm signing out. Hit it!